the conclusion of the service, the instruments of state, the imperial state crown, the orb, and the scepter, which had been presented to the queen at her coronation, were removed from the coffin and placed on the high altar. With the king watching, the Lord Chamberlain, the most senior official in the royal household, broke his wand, the symbol of his authority, to signify the end of a reign, and placed it on the coffin. Go forth upon thy journey from this world, O Christian soul. In the name of God the Father Almighty, who created thee. In the name of Jesus Christ, who suffered for thee, in the name of the Holy Spirit, who strengtheneth thee. The public lamentation for the life and reign of Elizabeth II was coming to a close. It was time for the world to draw back, to leave her finally to her family, for her burial this evening in a small side chapel, alongside her late husband. Nicholas Witchell, BBC News. Well, huge crowds gathered in near silence in the streets surrounding Westminster as the Queen's coffin was taken to Westminster Abbey and then here on to Windsor. Many people, young and old, from across Britain had camped out for days to witness the elaborate spectacle of pageantry, pay their final respects and share a moment of history. Our special correspondent Lucy Manning was amongst the crowds on the Mall as those gathered in London paid tribute to the Queen. <laughs> 